Welcome to the Mark Clark Extension Public Hearing. The purpose of this hearing is to ask for your input on the recommended preferred alternative and the Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement, or SEIS. The purpose of the SEIS is to verify the findings of the draft Environmental Impact Statement that was signed in 2010 using current data. The purpose of the Mark Clark Extension Project is to increase the capacity of the Charleston Regional Transportation System, improve safety, and enhance mobility to and from West Ashley, Johns Island, and James Island. The original plan for the Mark Clark Expressway, now known as the Mark Clark Extension, dates back to the 70s and included a phased approach to building the road. This project is the last segment and the final phase that would connect I-526 at Savannah Highway in West Ashley to Johns Island and James Island. Since the signing of the 2010 Draft Environmental Impact Statement, or DEIS, a number of changes in our community have occurred within the study area. The population has grown, new developments have occurred, and with that, traffic has changed. Therefore, the South Carolina Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration determined that a SEIS was needed to identify any new information or changes in potential environmental impacts that might affect the conclusions of the 2010 DEIS and the recommended preferred alternative. So what does that mean? The 39 alternatives evaluated in the 2010 DEIS have been reanalyzed in this SEIS. New traffic analysis and field studies were completed to evaluate the potential impacts, eliminate alternatives from the evaluation process, and ultimately identify a recommended preferred alternative. Today, we will talk through the findings of the SEIS, the steps we've taken to reanalyze the potential effects of the project, and present you with the recommended preferred alternative. We value your input and encourage you to share your thoughts and concerns by submitting a comment. If you've lived in the Charleston region during the last 10 years, we don't have to tell you there have been changes in the area. Some of those changes include a growing population increasing traffic, and changes to land use. We've seen the new residential and commercial developments pop up in the Charleston region. Because of these changes, the project team has reanalyzed all 39 alternatives from the 2010 Draft Environmental Impact Statement with the most current data available reflecting these conditions. Spoiler alert, for those of you who can't wait, Alternative G, which was the recommended preferred alternative in the 2010 DEIS remains the recommended preferred alternative today. The 39 alternatives were developed using alternatives from previous environmental studies and input from the project team, resource agencies, local stakeholders, interest groups, and you, the public. While no new alternatives were evaluated, these alternatives were reviewed for this study and modified to account for changes suggested during the 2009 public involvement efforts. The 39 preliminary alternatives evaluated include freeway, parkway, grid network, improvements to existing roads, a tunnel, mass transit, transportation system management, and the no-build alternative. These alternatives were evaluated through the SEIS Tier 1 Preliminary Alternatives Analysis that used traffic performance to determine whether alternatives would meet the project purpose and need. Two other criteria were used in the screening process, potential impacts to wetlands and relocations. These two criteria were included because they are important factors in the project decision-making process, and we heard they were important to you. Throughout this five-step elimination process, each alternative was compared to the no-build alternative to evaluate how well the alternative performed. Based on this analysis, three build alternatives were carried forward. Mass transit and transportation systems management solutions were also considered as non-build alternatives but did not meet the purpose and need of the project. Therefore, they were not considered reasonable alternatives. After the SEIS Tier 1 Preliminary Alternatives Analysis Screening, three build alternatives, C, E, and G, 
were identified for further evaluation and were developed to include design criteria, construction limits, and right-of-way footprints. The SEIS Tier 2 build alternative analysis was conducted to determine the impacts of each alternative based on their footprint. The technical studies associated with the construction of these three alternatives determined that the impact associated with the construction of Alternative C was not acceptable to FHWA, SCDOT, nor Charleston County. Therefore, it was eliminated from further consideration and Alternatives E and G would move forward. Let's talk about them. Both reasonable alternatives would have different benefits and impacts as a result of the construction of the proposed project. These impacts were compared to determine the recommended preferred alternative. A detailed analysis comparing the benefits and environmental impacts associated with both of the two reasonable alternatives is documented in Chapter 5 of the SEIS. This analysis considered impacts to cultural resources, communities, threatened and endangered species, noise, air quality, wetlands, water quality, floodplains, land use, environmental justice, and parks and recreational facilities. It was determined that Alternative G best met the purpose and need while balancing the impacts to the natural and human environments, and as a result, is the recommended preferred alternative. Let's dive into this a little more. Why is Alternative G the recommended preferred alternative? Alternative G provides the highest potential to improve the travel efficiency for roadway users. This means people will have shorter travel distances, experience less delay, and have faster travel times. This is because it provides drivers multiple access points to the parkway, making the overall localized transportation system more viable and attractive to users. Alternative G would improve the performance of Maybank Highway on Johns Island because there are two access roads rather than a direct connection with Maybank Highway, which would only add to current congested conditions. Alternative G is 9.5 miles long, includes two crossings of the Stono River and two connector roads on Johns Island. It is the only reasonable alternative that reflects the strong public support for a parkway, connecting the islands with a protected bicycle and pedestrian path. This multi-use path would provide enhancements and additional access to the James Island County Park and West Ashley Greenway. Additionally, Alternative G is the least expensive of the two. Alternative G would have fewer relocations, 20 total, 12 single-family homes, one mobile home, and seven businesses. Comparatively, Alternative E has 84 relocations, including the relocation of a church. Alternative G would have fewer noise impacts. Neither of the reasonable alternatives would impact threatened or endangered species. Alternative G provides more locations to access the parkway, and there are fewer wetland impacts for Alternative G as compared to Alternative E. Alternative G is the recommended preferred alternative because it provides the best balance of impacts to both the human and natural environments while meeting the project purpose and need. When considering mobility, connectivity, cost, and construction impacts, FHWA, SCDOT, and Charleston County determined that Alternative G was the recommended preferred alternative. To learn more about Alternative G, we encourage you to watch our fly-through video and explore the detailed maps provided at the recommended preferred alternative station on the public hearing webpage. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and encourage you to share your thoughts and concerns by submitting a comment.